take a look around, browse around, and see if you like me. And if you do, make sure you subscribe. Today we're doing a reinstall. I'm reinstalling this blonde wig. I always reinstall my wigs maybe like two or three days after the initial install just because like it gets gunky with the glue, the makeup, and all that stuff. So I'm just showing you guys what I do and how I do it with this wig. Um, I don't know where this wig is from, but I will find out and put it in the description box below. So let's just get straight into the video. All right, hey guys. So right here, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I take down my wigs. I just really get water and just spray my lace and kind of massage it in. So that's what I'll be doing for these next couple of minutes, just massaging it in until like my hair is loose and I can just pull the wig right off. So before taking off the wig, I just make sure I can glide my finger throughout the whole lace, just making sure no hairs are still connected to the scalp. So now y'all, I'm just going to be washing the wig with some shampoo and conditioner. In the video, you're going to see me get my edge brush and scrub the lace. That's just to get the makeup and the glue out so it can look like a fresh new lace. I decided to do a close-up just so you guys can see how silky the hair was after putting the conditioner in it. And now I'm just going to be oiling my scalp before I put this wig on and using the Don't String Auntie Jackie's gel to push my edges back along with some Gorilla Snot. So now I'm putting on the wig and putting the combs inside as well. I'm going to line up my hair with my hairline and then I'm going to push it back once it's secured so we can start applying the glue. So now we're going to be using the got to be glue to install this wig. Um, I'm just going to be putting it on the middle part of my head first 
because it's easier that way. And I will say this is my first time using the Got To Be Glue. I normally use the gel or the spray, but um, I kind of like it. You just gotta really let it dry first because if it's not all the way dry, it will lift your lace back up. So here's a close up of me laying the lace onto the glue and then patting the lace into the glue so it can lay down. So basically I'm just going to be repeating that step, laying the glue down and then letting it dry and then laying the lace down as well. Um, you'll see in the video how the glue wasn't all the way dry and it lifted the lace back up so I had to relay it down. So keep that in mind if you're new to using this. I'm probably like the last person to just be first using this. But yeah, make sure the glue is dry all the way. Y'all, so I didn't have a scarf, so I just used a t-shirt, but now I'm just going to be brushing the hair out and I'm going to start to flat iron the hair. So now that the hair is flat ironed, I'm just going to brush it through and get some mousse to lay down the top of my head. And then I'm also going to go on with the hot comb to make sure that it's flat.
so now I'm just gonna start doing my baby hairs. I like doing my baby hairs before I put makeup on my lace because after I do that, I spray it and everything blends really well. So now I'm going in with my finishing powder from Morphe, the number is filter 10, and I'm just going to be putting it all over my lace. So I decided to go outside to show you guys what my lace and baby hairs look like because I didn't think you guys could see my baby hairs in the dull light. So this about sums the video up. If you guys did like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.